I experienced domestic violence, I'd say to the ultimate extent. I was shot by my husband a total of five times, four times in the head. That was a day, <laughs> I can tell you. Um, I remember um, hearing a noise that was very loud to turn around to see a gun very close to my head. I made it to the door. I finally figured out how to turn the door knob to open the door and I ran out. Went to a neighbor and went to a few neighbors actually until someone could help me. Um, imagine opening the door and there's a lady standing there who's bleeding profusely from the head asking for help. My husband just shot me. You may wonder, where did he get this gun? Well, my father, who two years prior had a stroke and he was an avid gun enthusiast. Uh, my father asked him to please take his guns, which were all legal and registered, and drop them to the police department. He could no longer shoot due to his stroke. Well, it turns out, <clears throat> that my husband never turned in those guns. He shot me with my father's gun. Just talking briefly about the use of guns in domestic disputes, um, we know that presence of guns, it doesn't matter what type of intimate partner relationship, um, especially that, and Laura will touch on this too, about the presence of guns also when children are involved and how that can also exacerbate the situations. But the combination of intimate partner violence and access to firearms is often a very deadly mixture. Both are preventable public health concerns. Um, the nexus of guns and domestic violence puts women at a tremendous risk. Um, we see that in the United States, women are 21 more times likely to be killed with a gun than in other high income countries. This statistic was already raised earlier that more than 600 women are shot by intimate partners. And that's roughly one every 14 hours. And so we think about a day, how many women were not only just impacted by domestic violence alone, but also included the element of a gun. Um, that's very startling. There are over a million women alive today who have been shot or shot at by an intimate partner. And another statistic that's alarming is four and a half million women report that a partner has threatened them with a gun. So. We could go on with statistics, but these should register and let us know how serious this is and how many lives, families, children that this situation is impacting. And unfortunately, how many women are killed ultimately by the presence of firearms.